Good day, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video I will discuss how to customize the task spreadsheet that you want to print as well as the Gantt chart. If you want to print, you go to the File tab and then you first go to the Preview and there you can see the task spreadsheet how it will print. If you only want to want to print the spreadsheet you only select the sp spreadsheet if you only want to s s select the Gantt chart you select Gantt if you want to select both you select then both and they will print together now how do you then select if you want to print only a few things um, the first thing is that you can then just uh, as you will then just can rearrange in the column put it where you want to maybe you want to put the duration uh, there at the end uh, this is for argument's sake maybe you want to insert a, uh, a column uh, then you select letter the column uh, whatever column you want to select it's cost there okay and if you want to select another column you can uh, just insert it by right clicking it on the tab insert column and then select the column that you want to uh, insert and then if you go to print preview you will see these columns will print in whatever if you even just want to print the spreadsheet you will see how it looks if you see it is these columns are a little bit too big what you can do is then you can go back and then try and uh, size the columns in this case uh, I just size it make it slightly smaller smaller is it names, resource names, cost make smaller, uh, drag this here, select the top and drag it, and then if you go to print preview, you will see it actually everything fits on one page, everything fits on one page, and then you can print it. If for some reason you want not to have some of these uh, columns then you just uh, go back and then you just uh, hide in the column that you do not want to print let's hide this column hide this column um, and hide this column and you will see only these columns then if you go to print preview these columns are then are the only ones that will print as you selected it if you select uh, then to print the uh, Gantt bar chart alone you will see it becomes a little bit difficult to read because there is no indication to what uh, these belong to and because there is no indication where these bars belong to it is, and uh, because Project Libre do not allow you at the stage to select the name of the task and to let the name of the task appear there therefore to make get more sense of it from it it is better than to print a part of the spreadsheet with the Gantt bar and it is preferable in this case I prefer then just to have the name and of course when you have the name the number will also appear to have this close the preview and then just hide all the columns you uh, if you want to have hide the column select the column and hide the column left click on the column and then hide the column in this case let us also hide this column here insert uh, right click on it and hide it and if you go back now you will see that um, if you go back to preview you will see there are the 
at least you have now some sort of indication to what elements of the Gantt bar belong to what task. But you can also see still, in this case, you, you, you have to cut it out and then stick it together. But maybe then you want to uh, have the everything on one page so this po follows one page after the other then all you do is then you size this column you can see if you size the name column you size the column it will look in the preview also smaller that is the way you can see this in the preview it is sized it looks smaller however this section here of the ga Gantt bar charts are very long and suppose you want now to have it on one uh, page a four page print it out on one four page let us go back there all you then have to do is you must try to what you have what you have here size it the view uh, and make it smaller or make it bigger and for this then to uh, be done you select here the top tab you select task and you have task then you can have zoom out and zoom in zoom out makes it more and then you can see there you can s this is because it's a project summary you can see if you can see if from uh, start of the project to the end of the project maybe you can zoom it slightly out now it's out it's too big so zoom slightly in and uh, then cause the task summary of course i have the f first and the last project date uh, of the uh, task date and activity date you will be able to see this on one page if you go down and uh, if this is acceptable to you you can continue if it's not acceptable you of course then must uh, make it slightly bigger but for the purposes of this illustration let us have this everything on one page then go again to the file and then again select preview and then if you select preview you can see the whole project next the Gantt chart next to the name of the activity and uh, if you go further you'll see then the whole can chart next to the activity. This is in the way you can go and see the uh, at least everything together on one page. If you should you want to have a little bit more of the Gantt chart you must just accept that uh, it will not be on one page and it will maybe be on two pages the one next to the other that you will have to cut but this is for me depending on your needs it is quite a good solution thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive comments and criticism please like and share this video